All right, so my name is Leanne Barber. Welcome to Yoga with Cats from the Cat Nook. I love being here and we're so excited always to be able to benefit um, our friends here at Cat Nook and the uh, Animal Coalition of Delaware County. We are live here in person and all donations will go, all proceeds go to the care of the cats here at the um, Cat Nook. And today we have Gina from Catnook, just to <laughs> tell us a little bit about Catnook and all the things. Hello. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So definitely appreciate you being here. Um, again, as yes, thank you. I can't squat the way Leanne does. Right. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so um, I'm a volunteer here for the Animal Coalition or ACDC Rescue and the Catnook Cafe, and we are a nonprofit, 100% uh, volunteer based rescue. You. So we definitely appreciate any kind of, uh, that is Capone, any kind of, uh, you know, donations and support that we get. And, you know, everything goes back into the care of our cats because we don't have any paid employees. That is Joe. We have lots of buff and orange cats right now. <laughs> so we appreciate you being here and have a great practice, everyone. I'll be doing it as well. Awesome. Thanks so much, Gina. We're going to go ahead and get started. I know we have um, a couple of people still planning to join us, but that's all right. We're going to get started. Um, they want to reschedule for the next one. Okay, no problem. Um, and we are going to have Halloween music today. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay with you. I'm really big into Halloween. Um, I will try to keep it. Uh, it's very subtle Halloween. It's not so uh, in your face, <laughs> but there will be Halloween music. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You can come on to your mat and start to get nice and comfortable. We're going to start with a little bit of kind of meditation and tuning into ourselves. <laughs> and just taking a moment to get nice and cozy on your mat. Taking a moment to settle into your space, maybe placing one hand on the heart, the other on the belly. Allowing yourself to settle in. Here's Carly. <laughs> Hi, Carly. Hi, Carly. And allowing nice deep breaths, knowing that we should always connect our breath with our movement, whatever we're doing. So trying to find that early on here. Trying to find that nice deep breath. And then place the hands down onto the earth. Allow yourself to feel the earth coming up to meet you today, knowing it's there to support you. Maybe imagining as though the earth has you sitting in the palm of its hand. So really nice and cozy and comfy today on this beautiful Saturday morning. And then gently putting all of your weight into your left hand, send your right arm up to the sky. Nice, gentle side bend. Inhale to come up nice and tall. Exhale to take that side bend to the right side. <laughs> Inhale to come back up. We'll take a few more side bends, really connecting with yourself before we get into our movement and allowing that to be nice and gentle to your body. Good, nice, good morning stretch. Very nice. Then we're going to take our hands, so clasping the palms and send the palms away from you. Nice gentle stretch and then maybe you bring the chin into the chest and round through the back. So really trying to stretch behind the shoulders and the back of the neck here. Nice and gentle. And then coming back through the center, we'll bring our arms out to a T, let the shoulders relax down the back. Imagine you're giving someone a nice big hug. I'm giving you a big hug <laughs> from here. Nice virtual hug. Nice big inhale. And then we're going to take the hands to the lower back, or you can grab opposite elbows, your choice. Finding that in your body, you really want to open up the heart nice and big here. Nice and big through the heart. Maybe your gaze looks up. Maybe your uh, forehead kind of goes up to the sky. Nice and gentle. Relax your face. Good. Then coming back through the center, we're going to place our hands on top of our Five, if you're, if you're seated with the legs out in front of you, that's okay too. Just bringing the hands to the thighs. We're gonna take a few circular motions, so nice and gentle. So we're rooting down through our root chakra, rooting down through our sit bones. 
but then still feeling nice and uh, loose and relaxed at the top. So kind of how a tree roots itself down into the earth, nice and stable at the bottom, but then nice and graceful and loose and open at the top, like the way it moves its branches. We're gonna take the opposite direction, so nice and gentle, circular motion, kind of connecting nice and gentle here. Good, breathing. Very nice. Coming back through the center, we'll bring our hands up, up, up to the sky. Exhale to come into heart center. Nice big inhale, rise the arms up. Exhale to come into heart center once more. Nice big expansive breath, coming into heart center. I invite you to set your intention for your practice today. Maybe it's something where you're creating that idea of harvesting or fall. Maybe it's just being thankful for where you are, a little bit of gratitude. Maybe it's about patience. Patience to continue through uncertain times. Really just setting that intention for your practice today. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, release. Let it go. Good. We're going to place the hands behind us, so let the hands come behind you. Fingertips can either point to the back of the room or the front of the room. And then put all of your weight into the hands. Open the heart nice and big. Leading our lives with a nice big open heart. Allowing that space in the heart. Nice big open shoulders. Very good. Coming back through the center, we're going to place our feet in front of us. So bring the feet in front of you onto the ground and send your knees up to the sky. Hi, Laurel. <laughs> nice and gentle. We're just going to take a few um, kind of windshield wipers through the legs. So on the inhale, rising up, and then exhale, dropping down to one side. You can take this on your own pace, going side to side. Really just opening the hips and allowing for gentle movement here. We just started doing this on my gym. Yeah. I like opening. Yeah. Nice and gentle. Very nice. When you're ready, coming back through the center, we're going to sit on top of our sit bones and bring the soles of our feet together. Let the legs kind of uh, fan out for a butterfly or bound angle pose. If this feels good for you, awesome. If you want, you can scoot the feet in closer. Really just find what works for you. Very nice. On the inhale, we're going to rise our arms up to the sky. And then gently take a forward fold, bringing the hands over. So no need to force anything here. You're not trying, we're not trying to force ourselves down or do anything extra. Just kind of releasing through the lower back. Take a nice deep breath, maybe shaking the head yes and no. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Come on in. Good, good, good. Here, no, 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 no. friends. <laughs> Come on in. Very nice. Someone can have my butt. Very good. I'm going to actually go to work right now with that. <laughs> all right. Physically adjusting. Very good. Very nice. So we're just getting started. So just place the, uh, once you get settled, just placing the soles of the feet together. And then we're going to take a gentle forward fold over to the right side, walking your fingertips over to the right. Your family. Your family. <laughs> yeah. And then inhale to rise back up. We're going to place our hands over to the opposite side, nice and gentle. We're in a Halloween theme here today. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of uh, subtle Halloween music for you. Good. Coming up through the center, we'll bring the hands back to heart center. Take a nice deep breath. Let it go. Good. We're gonna swing our feet around us. Good. So swing your feet around and starting to come to tabletop position. So always finding uh, your transitions to be as smooth as you can make them. And then placing your fingertips into the earth, knees over. Knees over the hips, or um, sorry, hips over the knees, and sh uh, shoulders over the wrists. I'm distracted <laughs> by all these cats. <laughs> Good, take a nice deep breath, coming into your tabletop position. 
On the inhale, we're going to send our gaze and our heart forward. Drop your belly down for cow. Exhale, look into the belly button, round through the back for chest. Inhale, gaze and heart time forward. Exhale, round through the back. Inhale, nice and big. Open those shoulders. Exhale, round through the back. You can take a few of these in your own pace. So kind of moving through the body, however feels right for you. Moving through the upper body, connecting your breath with your movement. Very nice. We're going to come back to tabletop position. We'll send our right arm out for a handshake. Straighten and flex into the left leg. Good. So option to keep that back foot on the ground or you can bring it above, your choice. Very nice. Breathing, engage the core, but continue to breathe. Nice long energy line through the fingertips and the back heel. Good, we're gonna take this a step further and bend through the back knee. Send the uh, heel up to the sky. If you want, you can reach back behind you to grab that back foot if you want. Breathing, find what works for you. And then reach out to that nice long energy line coming back through the center, nice stable ground underneath you. Good, we're gonna send our left arm out for a handshake, straighten and flex through the right leg. Engage your core, but continue to breathe always. Maybe you rise that back foot off, your choice. Option to stay here or option to go a step further by bending through that back knee, sending the sole of the foot to the sky. Maybe you reach back behind you to grab that ankle, your choice. Breathing nice and deeply, finding the breath. Hello, hi, are you so sweet? Good. Reach out to that nice long line, come back through the center, nice and stable ground underneath you. We're going to put all of our weight into the left hand, and then open up through the right shoulder and the right hip. Reach the right arm up to the sky, so we're in a half plank, really creating this nice big wind, wingspan, if you will. Option to bring that bottom knee off the ground if you want for a full plank, really your choice. Always knowing that every little bit is enough and taking what works for you. Always listening to your body. On the exhale, come back down through the center. Hands come back down to the earth. Maybe the knees come back down. And then we'll put all of our weight into our right hand. Open up through the left shoulder and the left hip. Rise the left arm up to the sky. So really creating that wingspan nice and big across the heart. Breathing. Maybe you take that bottom knee off of the ground, your choice. Nice deep breath. I told you it was subtle Halloween music. <laughs> Coming back down through the center. Hands come back onto the earth underneath you. And we're just gonna take a moment to sit back into child's pose. So let the knees come nice and wide. Big toes touch at the back of your mat. Take a moment and settle into your child's pose. And know that at any point during your practice, you can absolutely come back here. It is a place of restoration and relaxation, but also a place of kind of re-energizing as well. No need to force anything, just find what works for you. Take a nice deep breath. When you're ready, we're gonna to start to come back into tabletop position. Good. From here, we're gonna to start to move into our very first downward facing dog. Now, of course, if you ever need any alternate, uh, alternatives in your downward facing dog, you can take another pose and I can absolutely help you with that. But if you'd like, go ahead into your downward facing dog, coming into kind of that triangle shape. You can always keep the knees down and then pushing into the fingertips rather than the, the, the wrist. Breathing, we're going to start to walk our feet to the top of our mat. So tiptoe, 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 all the way to the top of your mat. Bend through your knees, allow yourself to drape and hang here. Really finding comfort wherever you are. Allowing yourself to release. The arms should feel nice and heavy. Shake the head yes and no. Releasing everything there. When you're ready on the inhale, we're going to start to roll up one vertebrae at a time, coming up to standing. So coming up kind of sprouting through the ground, like you're growing, growing, growing. And then let your pedal, your arms come up at the top, reaching, reaching to the sky. Exhale to come down, flat back. Inhale to come halfway up. 
exhale forward fold we're going to take that again but i really want you to think about doing it through with your breath so allowing yourself to roll up one vertebrae at a time on your own time your own intention with your breath rising up reaching up looking up beautiful nice big reach exhale as we dive down to the earth inhale to come halfway up exhale forward fold very nice we're going to step our, our place our hands down onto the ground step your right foot back behind you and then gently start to lower the knee and tuck the toe the front knee should be over the ankle so you might want to step your foot up a little bit further in order to achieve that the knee is over the ankle option to stay here and keep the heart up or option to rise all the way bringing the arms up you can also rest the hands on your thigh if you want and then push into this um, hip flexor if that feels good for you you can always add a little extra padding underneath the knee if you want by holding the mat back but breathing and letting your heart be nice and open relax your shoulders anybody know what this is from Oh, Tired Security. Yep, Tired Security. <laughs> I told you, it's very subtle. Music. <laughs> Love Tired Security. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. We're going to flex through that front foot. So flex through that front foot, allow your uh, ankle to kind of roll around. Hello! What do I got? That's the pose, right? Uh, Joe, Joe. Joe and the pose are both orange. I'm orange stuff, guys. <laughs> Good. Breathing. We're going to rise up one more time on top of that knee. Just uh, be careful finding comfort wherever you are. Allowing those transitions to be smooth for yourself. Relax the shoulders. Good. We're going to place the hands back down onto the earth. And then we're going to start to move ourselves back through tabletop position. So take your time kind of readjusting, shaking it out, breathing. And then we're going to move back into a downward facing dog. So starting to push yourself back into downward facing dog, coming into that strong, strong triangle shape, right? The triangle is supposed to be the strongest structure known to man. So create that in your body. And then we're going to tiptoe our feet all the way to the top of our mat, coming back into the forward fold. Tiptoe, 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 all the way to the top. Bend those knees at the top. And then start to take your sun salutation. So rising up from the ground up, reaching up. Take your time as you rise all the way. Let the arms come up, up, up. Exhale as you dive down onto the earth. Inhale to come halfway up. Exhale forward fold. This time hands come back down to the mat. Step the left foot back behind you. Very nice. So remember you can fold um, the, your mat back if you need a little extra padding. So we're going to drop our left knee down to the ground, untuck that back toe, make sure that front knee is over the ankle, nice and aligned, nice good um, foundation here. Heart is up, <laughs> maybe rise up to your half crescent lunge. Good, so breathing wherever you are, find your breath, relax your shoulders, relax your face. Yeah, nice deep breath. On the exhale, we're going to flex through that front foot, nice and gentle. Take your time. So finding those transitions, maybe you wiggle the ankle around in the front, a little bit of stretch behind the hamstring. On the inhale, we'll rise up, reach up, look up. Good. Can you relax your face? Woo! Nice and gentle. We're going to come back down, start to transition back into your tabletop position. Take your time in getting there. Very good. <laughs> I'm worried they're going to knock your tripod over. I know. Yeah, she would do that. We're going to start to move back into a downward facing dog. <laughs> so moving back into a downward facing dog, nice and gentle. Start to walk through your feet. Breathing. And then we're going to send our right heel up the back. So right heel rises, rises, rises. We're going to set that foot in between the knee. We're still on the back ball of our foot, and this time the knee is over the ankle. When you're ready, start to rise your heart up to the sky, coming into crescent lunge. Good. The knee is still over the ankle here. Relax the shoulders, relax your face. Breathing on the inhale, we're going to push up through that front knee. Exhale to bend. Inhale as you rise, push the earth away from you. Exhale to bend. 
Inhale as you rise, nice and tall. Exhale to bend, very good. We're gonna bring the arms off the cactus, take a few sides and establishing our core strength is there. If you wobble, that's okay. Hi. Very nice, on the inhale, we're gonna rise up, reach up, look up, we're gonna step our back foot together with the front foot. Stand up nice and tall, and then take a gentle seat. So we're gonna come into a chair pose. Feet can either be slightly apart or together, your choice. We're not here to drop it low, we're just here to find nice, stable feet. So let the feet be nice and wide, spread the toes, engage the core, breathe, open the heart. Good, take a nice big inhale, rise up, exhale forward, fold. Very nice, let it go, sway it out. Uh, on the inhale, we're going to step our right foot back behind us. Good. So right foot comes back behind us, left foot is in front this time, so we're headed to the opposite side, knees over the ankle. When you're ready, rise up to your crescent lunge. Good. Crescent lunge, opposite side. Breathing nice and deeply. On the inhale, we're going to rise through that front knee. Exhale to bend. Inhale as you rise. Exhale to bend, looking good everyone. Inhale as you rise, exhale to bend. This time, knee stays bent, arms are going to come out to a T. So last time we were at cactus, this is, but this time we're at a T. We're just going to notice if just that subtle change in arm changes our center of gravity. Woo! Yeah, a little bit of wobble. That's all right. On the inhale, we'll rise those arms up, reach up. We're going to set that back foot together with the front foot. Good. There we go. So find your balance here. Then when you're ready, take a seat. Good. So feet can either be slightly together or slightly apart, your choice. Knees are slightly behind the toes. Open your heart. Find that chair pose. Breathe. Let your gaze look up. Good. Take a nice big inhale. Stand up nice and tall. Exhale forward. Full. Very nice. Let yourself come to a forward fold. Very nice. From here, we're going to keep our hands on the ground. We're going to set the left foot back behind us. But this time, before we rise, we're going to kind of spin on the back ball of the foot. So we're going to pivot on the back ball of our foot and bring our back heel down to the ground. So coming in to the beginnings of our warrior one. Front knee is still over the ankle. When you're ready, rise your heart up. Good. So I'm just going to turn this way just so you can see that my hips are square. So you want to step your back foot out just a little bit to achieve square hips. Very nice. And then engage your core. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Are there smiles under this mask? <laughs> Good. Breathing. On the inhale, we're going to push the earth away from us. So pushing off through that front knee. Exhale to bend. Inhale, we grow taller, taller, taller. Exhale to bend. Inhale to rise. Exhale to bend. We're going to bring our hands to a class at the lower back. Or you can grab opposite elbows, your choice. Open the heart nice and big. Exhale, full humble warrior. Good. So we're breathing here. Nice open heart. But nice and grounded through the earth and the feet. Nice deep breath. On the inhale, we're going to rise those arms up. Reach up. Good. Inhale, we'll rise to that front knee, push the earth away from you, exhale to bend. Good, inhale as you rise, exhale to bend. This time we're going to open up to warrior two, so we're going to open up our hips to the side of the room. Your front foot and your front right foot is facing the front, while your back left foot is facing the side where your hips are facing. And then bend through that front knee, so right front knee, bend. You can open up the hips a tad bit here. And then let your arm be an extension of your energy. I'm just going to flip around. There we go. So my right foot is in front, flipping around. Arms are extended. Nice, strong warriors. We are. Our kitties are looking at us like we're <laughs> crazy humans. Breathing, looking out past your middle finger. Nice, strong breath. Good. On the inhale, we're going to flip the front palm. Reach all the way to the back of your room. Reverse warrior. You have to reach to the back. There you go. <laughs> Good, knees over the ankle, let's move on. Oh! <laughs> Jim's like, where's my train? I, I just have to show the people, look at, he's way up there. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I can reach for you. So we're still in our reverse warrior, reaching to the 
back of our room. I'm reaching up, up, up to the sky here. Inhale to rise back up. Nice and tall. So you're a warrior. Two. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Look at you. We're going to flip that back palm. We'll reach to the front or the sky. Your choice. Good. So that's the reach to the front. You got it. Oh, reach to the front. You got it. Yep. So we're reaching to the front of our room. Open through the heart. You can rest your front um, forearm on your side, but it's not too much that you're not leaning over too much. Breathe, rising up to warrior two, nice and strong. We're going to flip both palms this time. On the inhale, we're going to rise through that front knee. Let the arms rise up. Exhale as you bend through that front knee. Arms come back down to warrior two. Inhale, rise up, up, up. Exhale to bend. This time let your gaze come up with your reach. Yes, yes, yes. So connecting your breath to your movement here. Really allow yourself to settle into the breath and the movement. This should feel nice and good and energizing. We're going to take a few more. Breathing. And then coming back down to warrior two, nice and strong. We're going to flip that front palm, reach all the way to the back of the room. As far as you can go. Exhale, we're going to cartwheel our hands down to our mat. Take your time. We're going to start to move through our flow. So maybe the feet come together at the back of your mat. You can bend your knees. Coming down nice and gentle, all the way down. Inhale to rise up just a little bit. And then pushing back to downward facing dog. So you can always skip that vinyasa if you want. Time works for you. On the inhale, we're going to send our yeah, our left leg, our left leg up to the sky, and step that foot in between the hands. So this time the left foot is in front. We're going to spin on the back ball of our foot, so pivot on the back ball of the foot, bring it down behind you, and that heel is down. When you're ready, rise your heart up to the sky, and you're going to flip around. Good, so my left knee is in front this time, my back heel is down on the ground. You can bring that back foot out a little bit so that the hips are square. And then rise the arms, relax the shoulders, relax your face. Breathe nice and deeply. On the inhale, we're going to rise to that front knee. <laughs> Exhale to bend. Inhale as we rise, rise, rise. Exhale to bend. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to bend. Very good. This time we'll take our hands to a class at the lower back. Option to take that clasp where you can grab off the elbows. And then open up the uh, heart nice and big. Exhale to bend through that front knee. Or I'm sorry, to uh, bend forward for the front knee. Good, breathing. <laughs> so really finding your stability here, but still staying lifted through the heart. Very nice. On the inhale, we're going to rise up, reach those arms up, nice and stable. Inhale, we rise. Exhale to bend. Yes, inhale, rise up. Exhale to bend. Nice big inhale. Exhale to bend. Good. This time, you're going to open up to warrior two. So open up the hip. Front left leg is facing, or front left foot is facing forward. Back, right foot is facing to the side with your hips. And then bend through that front knee. Beautiful. Let your arms take an extension of your energy. Rising them out. Look out past your middle finger. Keep breathing. Very nice. Come this down a little bit. There we go. Nice song, warriors, right? Breathing. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Very nice. On the inhale, we're going to put the front palm. Breathe all the way to the back of your room. Good. Bending through that front knee. Somebody help me. Breathing. On the inhale, rise back up to the warrior two. Put that back palm. Reach to the front of the sky. Extend the side angle. Stay lifted to the side body. Breathe. Very nice. Breathing. Nice and press here. One more. Good. On the inhale, we're going to rise back up. Nice strong warrior. Okay. So both palms. On the inhale, rise. Knee up, rise arms up. 
We're gonna bend our knees and let our feet slide side to side like windshield wipers. Releasing through the lower back here. Nice deep breath. And then with the most nurturing and kind energy that you have within you, you're gonna start to make your way onto your back. So take your time in getting there. There's no rush. Making this as easy as you can for yourself. Coming onto the back. Nice and gentle. You always want to make it as easy as you can for yourself. No need to force or strain anything. So we're going to plant our feet into the earth. So bend the knees and send the knees up to the side. Feet are into the earth. Hands come down by your side. Plant it into the earth as well. We're going to take three, three different times. Okay. On the inhale, start to rise your hips off of your mat. Good. You want to keep your knees parallel here. Sometimes they like to dip in or dip out. Make sure you keep them separate and parallel. And then if it feels good, maybe you tuck your chin into your chest, creating a nice long back of the neck. And only going to where it works for you. <laughs> Breathing nice and deeply. Take a nice big inhale. We're going to start to bring our backs back down onto the earth. So one vertebra at a time, nice and lowering down. Good. Going for our second bridge or variation of bridge. Maybe you clasp the hands at the lower back. Maybe you go to the balls of the feet, your choice. <laughs> On the inhale, rise your hips off of your neck. Maybe you take a variation, clasping the hands or going to the balls of the feet, your choice. Breathing, whatever works for you. <laughs> nice, you both <laughs> We're slowly going to start to come down, nice and slow, one bridge at a time. Good. Lowering nice and slowly down. So take our last bridge or variation of bridge. If you want to go to wheel, you're more than welcome to do that too. You'll bring the hands right next to the head. Let the elbows point to the sky. Maybe you rise your hips off. Or if you want to stay at bridge, you're more than welcome to do that as well. On the inhale, start to rise wherever feels good for you. Finding your breath. Nice deep breath. Slowly coming down if that feels good for you. Take your time, nice and gentle. Like oh, I've done that like 30 years. <laughs> yeah. See, something new every day. She hasn't done one of those back bends in 30 years. Now. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am making you do something you haven't done in so long. <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Squeeze the knees into the chest. Allow yourself to release here. Oh, very nice. Rocking side to side. Nice good back massage. Then we're going to squeeze our right knee into our chest. So keep that right knee into the chest. and the left leg down to the bottom of your mat. Option to stay here. And that's fine. Or you can bring your right knee across your center line to the left side. So if you choose, right knee can come across the center line to the left side for your twist. So we're relaxing the shoulder. Relaxing the lower back. Going to where it works for you. No need to do any more. Nice deep breaths here. Somebody is watching us. It's uh... <laughs> What's his name? Uh, I always forget. Is it Joe? Joe. Joe. Joe is watching us. Watching and judging. He's definitely <laughs> judging. He's definitely judging us. Okay. <laughs> nice deep breath. Joe, do not. And then starting to make your way back up. So squeeze your knee back into your chest. Nice and long through the bottom leg. Holy. We're going to bring both knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Nice and gentle. Uh oh. Got a cat fight. Woo! Oh. She's never. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad she's Jason. <laughs> We're going to squeeze our left knee into our chest and the right leg down to the bottom of your mat. They usually plug her and she runs away. Nice and long through the spine. Breathing. 
Often the figure or knee goes over, the left knee goes across the center line to the right side, so creating that twist. No need to force anything, just find what works for you. Left knee goes across the center line to the right side. There we are. Adjust your hips at the bottom, breathe deeply. Find your breath. Very nice, nice deep breath. Relax that left shoulder. I'm sorry, did I hit you with that phone? I meant to hit you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice to come back to the Woo! Somebody's definitely watching me over at the top. Squeeze your knees into your chest, rocking side to side. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like a rabbit. Over. Nice breath there. Good. Then we're going to send our heels up to the side. So just like you're walking on the ceiling. You can bring your hands behind your thighs or at the lower back, your choice. You can bend your knees. Maybe you walk the feet out for a moment here. So this is just creating better circulation through the body, kind of changing the energy channels and allowing us to refresh through the heart and mind. Nice deep breaths here. And then take any last bits of movement that feel good for you. So allow yourself to kind of move around. If you need to stretch behind the legs, feel free to do that. Yeah, so taking up any last bits of movement that feel good for you. And then we're going to squeeze our knees into our chest, turn yourself into a nice little ball of energy, tuck your chin into your chest, give yourself a nice big squeeze, take a nice deep breath, hold it, right, so we're going to start to make our way down to our Shavasana, our final resting pose. So allow the legs to come nice and long onto your mat, allow your arms to come out by your side. And allow yourself to take your final resting pose. So we take our Shavasana so that we can reap the benefits of our practice, right? We just worked really hard and took time for ourselves and our wellness. Can you come to a nice resting pose? Take a nice deep breath. Whatever you're holding on to, mind, body, or spirit, Take a nice big inhale, exhale, release, and let yourself rest, rest, rest. As you listen to Harry Potter. <laughs> Breathing. We've all got the magic inside of us, right? 
Gently starting to come back into yourself. Take a nice big stretch overhead. Let your breath deepen. Gently starting to make your way onto your favorite side and stay there. So coming onto your favorite side, give yourself a nice big hug once you come onto that side. Giving yourself gratitude. Thank yourself for being here, for showing up, for honoring your wellness, for dedicating the time to yourself on this beautiful Saturday morning. And for sharing the energy with our cats here. <laughs> our cat books. And then gently start to make your way to a seated position, nice and slowly. Nice smooth transition. Coming back to a seated position so that we can close out our practice together. Wonderful. Take a nice deep breath, let the arms come up, up, up. All this magic inside, coming back into heart center. Inhale, rising up, up, up. Exhale, come into heart center and once more, nice, good aura of energy all around you. Bring back into heart center. Allow love and gratitude to carry you wherever you go. Draw the thumbs to the third eye, continuing to progress each and every day. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all so much for being here, for sharing your energy in person and virtually. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your donations, they will go directly to the wonderful cats here at the Cat Nook. And we thank you so much for spending time with us. <laughs> thank you. Say hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Joe. We <laughs> almost missed the star. <laughs> Sorry, Leanne. <laughs> Thanks so much. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you again soon. Take care. <laughs> The magic is within you. Now go be wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! They all do. Carly's like, Joe's being a jerk. I'm sitting back in my cubby. You are so oh. sweet. You are so sweet. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you so much.